Welcome to our lecture online. Well, the multiple inequality problems are indeed a little bit more difficult. And again, the technique of shading out the regions that do not satisfy simply makes it easier to deal with it. And then in some cases, when there's three or four or five lines and we start shading out what doesn't satisfy the inequalities, it's just a lot easier to do it that way. So here are the two inequalities we're going to deal with. Notice that one of them does not have the equal sign. That means one of the lines we're going to draw as a boundary line will not be a solid line, will be a dashed line. But first, let's turn them into the correct format. So here we can write that y is greater than, moving the 2x across, becomes a minus 2x plus 10. And let's label that as inequality number 1. And here we can write this as minus 2y is less than or equal to minus 3x plus 6. But notice we're now going to divide both sides by a negative 2. When we do that, we have to turn the inequality symbol around. So here we have minus 2y is greater than or equal to minus 3x plus 6 because we're going to divide both sides of the inequality by a negative 2 and by a negative 2. So when we do that, notice the inequality symbol switches around. So that means we end up with y is greater than or equal to negative 3 minus 2. That's a positive 3 over 2x. And that would be a minus 3. And here's equation number 2. So equation number 1 and equation number 2. I guess I should not have included this label in with the equation. There we go. Two inequalities in the correct format. So now we're going to turn those into equations. y is equal to minus 2x plus 10. That's equation number 1. And here we have y equals 3 over 2x minus 3 for equation number 2. All right, we can go ahead and draw those lines now. Be careful, this is going to be a dashed line, and that's going to be a solid line. So the intercept is plus 10, it's right there and the slope is a negative 2. So by the time we drop 10, we go over 5, so there's the other point, and this will be a dashed line. And notice we're going to label the dashed line, line number 1, and sometimes it's not a bad idea to write the equation y equals minus 2x plus 10, so we can see the connection. All right, the second line is going to be a solid line. The intercept is minus 3, so minus 3, that would be about here, minus 3, and the slope is 3 halves. So not quite one, a little three halves, so that would make it about like this. There we go. So there's line number two, and we can label it as y is equal to three over two x minus three. Okay, now we have lots of regions, but we don't worry about the regions. We are simply going to pick a point for each of the two lines and see if it's satisfied or doesn't satisfy the inequality. So line number one, we're going to test. We're going to test number one. And so number one, the reason why I want to label so I know which one I'm talking about, this is the line right here, the dashed line. I'm going to pick a test point to see which of the two sides of the dashed line satisfies inequality. So we're going to test 0, 0. So here, taking this equation, we put 0 greater than negative 2 times 0 plus 10, question mark, because we don't know if that's correct or not. We're just testing it. Simplifying this, is 0 greater than 10 question mark? And then of course the answer is no. 0 is not greater than 10. So I picked the point right here, 0, 0. In this region right here, which does not satisfy as inequality for the dashed line, that means I'm in the region that does not satisfy. I'm going to shade this out. This whole region is not, no, does not belong to the solution. So now we're going to test inequality number 2. And so I'm going to use this inequality, and that is the boundaries represented by this solid line. I'm going to pick the same test point, which is on the left side of this line right here, to see if it satisfies inequality. So let's plug in 0 for y, 0 greater than or equal to 3 over 2 times 0 minus 3 question mark. And so is 0 greater than or equal to minus 3 question mark? And the answer is yes. So here, I picked a point on the correct side of this line. So this side here satisfies inequality, but the other side doesn't. So I'm going to get rid of the other side. And so here I don't have to worry about double shading a region. 
This region does not satisfy an equality based upon this line. This region here does not satisfy an equality based on this line, which leaves us with one region that does satisfy the inequality, but the other regions do not. So the line, the solid line, is included. This region is included, and the dashed line is not included. And so that's how we find the proper region that satisfies both inequalities at the same time. And shading out the region that do not satisfy inequality makes it a lot easier to find it. And that is how it's done. See, here makes it easier to see it that way. And we can say yes, no, and no, and yes. And that's how it's done. <laughs> We're good. All right.